Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm looking at Starpoint Gemini 2, a sequel, predictably enough, to Starpoint Gemini 1, developed by Little Green Men Games. They are out of Croatia, and apparently they're also uh, sponsored by the Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Crafts from uh, the Republic of Croatia. Anyway, it's one of those 3D uh, space explorer type games. Uh, that does all the things that we tend to like. Um, it does also have, well, an interesting backstory, I guess. It tries to do a lot of things, let's say, but this is only the beta version right now, and the story itself is largely uh, missing at this time. War, but we'll get an intro here. Pain. Destruction. Death. Oh, wait, I think he's going to try and sell me insurance. Whatever battle we win, there is always another one to follow. Yep, he is definitely planning to sell me his insurance for my uh, shiny spaceship, no doubt. Great General Paul Demetrius took us close. So damn close to the promise of final peace and freedom. You too can find peace and freedom from high insurance premiums. Rebuilding Gemini after the Starpoint disaster and repeated annihilation of the Colonial Directorate gave us hope that our long journey might finally be over. Your journey is over. Let the fingers do the walking. But evil rose once again and smashed our dream for the second time. Actually, it looks like uh, their dream might be another sequel to Stargate. Or Star Point. Cruel destiny. Or just another display of human tendency to destroy everything they supposedly strive to achieve. So I guess this is the Earth Forces coming back and uh, more or less laying waste to things at the end of the first Starpoint game. A game which I never got that far enough to complete, but uh, yeah, Earth are the bad guys. I'm not sure anymore, but I do know. I so, so tired of those struggle. All of my years are now lost in the chaos of war, and most of my friends are long gone. That will not change. My son deserves a better future. Our hated empire has been restored in some parts of Gemini since Starpoint has reopened, and we all live in fear once again. Do we have the strength to stand up to them? Do we have the will to rise again? The League is gone, and there is no hero in sight that could unite us this time. I strongly believe the Empire's return to Gemini had different reasons than simple conquest. I remember well how they operate, and how brutal their military machinery can be. Sheer fact we are still here proves something is different now. Of course it's different, it's a sequel. I feel my strength diminishing, but there is one last thing I must do. Find at least a glimpse of hope. Search for the surviving leaders of the League unveiled some shocking secrets, but I feel time is short, as I suspect our little expedition has been under surveillance for weeks now. Well, I have no idea what really they're referring to there. Um, oh, uh, yes, and we get tons and tons of tooltips here, so I'm just going to close that off. I've at least figured out how to play this game to start with. Now, uh, first thing worth doing is there's a space station I can dock with, but let's actually start out doing the predictable thing to uh, make some money. Is this, oh, that's a, that's a spaceship. I'm gonna try and find uh, an asteroid. There's one like right there. Let's just, let's just fly up to it. So uh, what I can do to go a little faster, you see I mouse over here, it tells me I'm moving at 24. I can mouse over here and direct power, as you can see, you can direct power to the shield, to the weapons, it's all a balance. It's all a little equatorial triangle, so I can go a little bit faster, move at a whole 48, whatever 48 means, but 48 distance units. Unfriendly uh, target oh, acquired. unfriendly target, let's go and kill him, because fighting is always a good plan. And, oh, pokey... Pokorny from Tri A Corp, but I wanted to target this guy. Come on, full speed ahead! There we go. Now we can start shooting at this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help these guys out. Of course, I need to probably redirect power to things. Ah, there we go. Well, that was a short victory. I'm gonna, gonna grab this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna undock. 
gonna grab that loot while I can. Collect all, so I gotta get in close to grab it. So yeah, I mean, it's all very skill-based, um, very RPG style, but there's definitely, you know, Twitch skills in there. There we go. So it's, on that remark, it's kind of like the Fallout games, you know, where, you know, you have actual skill will help you, but uh, there are actual in-game skills that will matter. Okay, so I'm going to mine this asteroid. I need to really shoot it, so I just need to direct power to the weapons and start tearing it down a little. Take me a little while to oh dear and you see on the left side of my site I have my weapons power on the right side I have my shield power I guess I'm just gonna knock this down ever so carefully shooting this will of course train my skills and uh, there we go so now we've actually got an asteroid and it's broken into all these fragments here collect them all gotta catch them all there, these little fragments will be easier to kill. So I can just target and zap them with a little more hastiness. And you see at every juncture I'm gaining uh, experience. Uh, the experience appears down here at the bottom, this little bar. Once it gets across I of course go up a level and I get to give myself some new skills. I can actually tell myself to use these superpower weapon skills to kill things faster. Oh, what about this? Oh, no, that's not it. Ooh! I've no idea what that extra weapon is. Basically, it, it switches weapon systems seemingly random. And that one seems to be way better. Come on, come on, come on. Pressing the J button will perform the action that appears at the bottom of the screen there. So there's like a default do stuff key, right? There we go. Let's see if there's anything else nearby. I'm just gonna, just doing this so I get some cash, let's see. There's another object, a shard of an asteroid nearby. Nice. Uh, this is of course my ship here. You can see all the different weapon systems here. That's my hammer. Please hammer, don't hurt him. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, is there anything else sitting around? You know what, I thought, you know what, I just realized I killed, what is that? No, oh, that's the gate. So I can jump through that gate. The only thing is it costs a ton of money to go anywhere. Right now I only have 15,000, which pretty much let, leaves me nowhere I can go. So I'm gonna head back towards this target. Do, do, do. Oh there, kill that while we're near it. Yeah, look at that. So obviously getting off to a rather slow start here, but you know it is the way of the game of uh, the spaceship game that the the young ones, the newbies, instead of getting to shoot rats or kill rats as you get in uh, various games, they get to mine because mining is like hunting rocks, and if you can't sneak up on a rock, then uh, you have some serious mining skill problems. Okay, let's do that. Trying to get close enough to pick all these up, but oh, I, I'm apparently full. Okay, well let's anchor at the station and sell all my stuff, and we'll look for some missions. That's the other thing. So, in the station, yeah, I can sell all the things that I picked up: shell casings, explosives, infused core. I see. I'm sure these things can be used at some point, uh, but right now I'm just going to sell it. They do like to talk about them having like a fairly full economy can take a look at my skills and perks here, incidentally. I have Plasma Boosters, Beam Manipulation, Rail Gunner, and Heavy Hitter, which is like a big skull. And these are my perks, which will, I guess, you can go one way or another. I don't really know. Uh, you can manage your entire fleet, so it's not just one ship you can have. You can have a whole bunch of ships in your fleet if you want, and you can hire officers to go into each of these slots. So I can hire officers to... Uh, You'll have to pay a regular salary to him, but uh, his uh, weapon system skills are better. For example, this guy will improve the chance that your weapons don't decloak you. Carmine Blaine has a chance to shoot through shields with railguns. Rico Dempsey makes you maneuver faster. So all these things are nice. They're like, I mean, it's just like you slot in a module, you slot in an officer. You can hire troopers and they will help you with boarding actions. And there's mercenaries and all that going on there. 
this is me. Uh, I don't get to go through a hideous character selection screen, character design screen, because uh, the previous game had a hideous character design screen which lets you pick all sorts of characters. There are a buttload of different uh, factions to be balanced and to deal with. Let's see, if ones that hold territory, I guess. You have... Oh yeah, companies. Outlaws. Okay, hold on. I have no idea what this is. This turns things on and off. There. So we can actually just see just the outlaws, I guess? These are the outlaws who don't hate me too much. Interesting. All sorts of stuff. My finances don't tell me very much, but I did make 9,000 from the trade. Oh yeah, I can adjust my spaceship. That's an important thing. So, yeah, you have a full shipyard, but... Um... <clears throat> There, I have 15,000, or start with 15,000. These spaceships are pretty darn expensive. I'm not going to be buying them anytime soon. But, I can at least take the ship that I have. You can customize the weapons, of course. Uh, buy various upgrades to various slots. You see that the weapons go in, in different locations. The the shredder is on one side. Uh, the knight, These two are on the front, and this is on the other side. So. By uh, moving your spaceship around, you can fire in different firing arcs, which uh, helps a little. Anyway, if I go to Customize, I can change the name to something more appropriate. I can change the logo on it to... I don't know, that looks... what looks most Kerbal? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll do that. I make the things that make things work. I can put that logo in in hot pink if I like. There we go, nice hot pink. I can change the color of the ship, the decals, there. Change the color in general. There we go, and of course I can make it shinier and more reflective. Nice. That will be a truly awesome ship to behold. It doesn't cost me anything. There is a whole news thing going on where you can read about news in the universe. This is sandbox mode only. They only have sandbox mode available right now in the in the beta. The full game is supposed to have a story and uh, if you play Starpoint Gemini 1 and again it's, it's an okay, it's not, it's it's a 50-50 game really. But uh, Starpoint Gemini 2 has fixed a lot of things I didn't like about the first game. Anyway, just gonna go to the star chart and you can see here, this is where I am, there's different locations. I can talk to these things. You can't anchor these yet. What is that? That is a planetary tea gate. I'm not going to go there. This! Aha! I have a mission. Bring the requested cargo to the marked station. Location, Planet Trinity. Faction, Trinity Free States. The local station is in need of supplies. Handsome reward offered for bringing the supplies. Okay! Did I accept that? I accept that. Excellent. What's this mission here? VIP in need of space. Quick transport. Willing parties will be compensated. I'm just going to click OK for now because I've only got the one mission. Okay, so let's undock and see if we get the, the stuff. Proceed to the marked waypoint. Oh, marked waypoint is there. Well, let's anchor at it. Aha! Now I have cargo. I have the ass-kicking bubblegum. Yes, indeed. I have come here to kick ass, and chew bubblegum, and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. That's a classic line from some movie, which I forget. I'm going to finish off this asteroid as well while it's right here. Oh, maybe I'll do this one first because it's a little closer. How come I get the mega weapon on that one and not that one? I don't quite get why I get mega weapons in some case. That's it. That that is probably the real gun, I guess. Ah, that's what it is. It's all about firing arcs. Let's uh grab all this stuff. Grab it all. Grab it all. Okay. So where's my waypoint? I've got to look at the waypoint to find. Ah, there it is. Ferry over there. So that is a fair distance away. But what I can do is middle button and go to it. Waypoint confirmed. And it will kick all it, power yeah. to engines. It'll reroute all power to engines. And you'll see I'm moving rather fast, 102, but of course if I zap it all the way up, I can move it 200. So this is basically your quick travel mode that lets you get places a little faster. 
Yes, sir. Yes, Requiring sir. Yes, of course. It's not new coordinates. It's the same coordinates. Uh oh. Oh dear, 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 dear. Whoa! Get my reassign everything. Weapons. Ah, oh, come on, come on. They're shooting at me. I'm assigning. Where'd he go? There he is. There, there. I'm firing up my special weapon systems. Yes! Brilliant! <laughs> so I can. Uh, oh, yeah. I can sh destroy this wreckage. And I will get more salvage. So I can collect everything from it. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out what you're getting, you kind of have to go to the cargo to find out what you're picking up. Carbon! Yes, of course, there will be a lot of carbon left after I burned your ship. Oh, carbon and diamond. It's nice for them to make that distinction. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, get back on the trip to this station. Yes, sir. All power Fire to the engines. Reporting. Affirmative. Engines on overdrive. Engines on overdrive, flinging me across the galaxy at rates that are above 100. They're in fact 200. You check the star chart. New missions are available. Oh yes, because I've moved into a new region. I now have new missions. This is Alameda, incidentally, which is very interesting because I used to live in Alameda. I actually live in Alameda County, but Alameda is, you know, relatively well-known naval base. So anyway, I guess by docking here, um, okay, okay, I don't know, I've apparently cloaked by accident. <laughs> Sell all, okay. So I'm hoping that my missions have been completed. Here I am at Alameda, and there's no mission there. There's a dude there. Planet Trinity has a, a mission. I could go and accept that. Or I could take a look. Oh, there's freelance missions out here. Destroy marked ships. Probably not a good idea with my firepower. Local station in need of supplies. Destroy marked ships. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Ex no, 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 no. I'm going to set this as... I'm gonna do this. Too many freelance, hold on. Too many freelance missions active at the same time. Okay, why have I, I didn't mean to do that. Have I, ah. Oh, I can zoom in and out, that's great. Civilian convoys aren't being stopped immediately, etc., etc. What What do the traders have, incidentally? Thorium shells. They're used in the production of well done weapons, prosthetics, laser sidearms, oxygen tanks, combat mechs. They really have filled out the sci-fi the sci list of uh, gizmos. And uh, no hull repairs needed at this time. Let's just undock a th Enemies decloaking in the vicinity. Uh oh, let's dock again. I'm not sure why, what's going on with my mission. I'm wondering if the mission actually get completed or not. That's what I'm not clear on. Oh well, let's undock and shoot these bad guys. Because you know what? Worst that could happen is that I could die. Apparently I've activated my cloak already by accident. Ah, there he is, there. Come on! Yes! Ha ha! Brilliant! Brilliant! Take it all, take it all. And, uh, oh, there's an assa- Apparently I accidentally accepted an assassination mission. Well, uh, not much to it, I guess. Collect it all? I can't collect assassinations. I have to go... Go there. Well, full power to the engines. This will surely result in me reaching a rapid and Anomalous sticky readings, end. Captain. Oh, anomalous readings. That, my friends, I believe, is a sign of uh, things happening. So I can uh, switch the view mode. There we go. That's an eye of a storm. So you get these like spatial anomalies that make things happen. There is my spacecraft in great and fascinating detail you'll see here. I have no idea how far it is to this actual assassination. Target acquired. Oh, okay. 
I should probably... I'm going to drop out, reassign power. Oh dear, oh, that's the wrong way. Aha! Hostile target eliminated. Nice. This is so much more polished than Starpoint Gemini 1. Like, Starpoint Gemini 1 had more bugs, and this is a beta. Like, let's be clear. As a beta, this game has fewer bugs than the, the original Starpoint Gemini. Not that I didn't like Starpoint Gemini. I just find it hard to recommend it when there's other things available that are nearly as good. But Starpoint Gemini 2... Although it is in early stages of development, I, I think it's a much better uh, much better game. What? Why am I going here? I want to go to this. No? Okay, apparently I've accepted these guys, so... Uh, I guess there's more targets to eliminate. Let's go and I'll switch back to facing mode so I can actually see where I'm going. Assassination! Full speed ahead. Transferring all available power to engines. That's what I'm telling you. All power to the engines. Oh, apparently I've jumped to level two. I should probably like assign some stuff to the to my skills. Let me see. Skills, not skills. Skills. Can I do anything with my nope. Skills, maybe? No. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Skills! Yeah, I clicked on every single icon except for the one that I needed. Okay. So I sh maybe I could spend money on these. Oh, I did that by accident already. Okay, I spent my skill points on saving power from my beams. Okay, and I don't have perks. Assassination, that's interesting. Oh, that's an assassination mission that's just showing through the transparent UI. How confusing. Okay, let's continue. Changing course. Changing course, it's the same engine. course. Enemy incensor range. Enemy incensor range. Weapons all set up, all aligned. And now we're ready to start firing. Are we ready? Beam accel so I can turn up my beam cell accelerators, my plasma booster, or heavy weapons. So, so the, I've got beams here, the rail guns are the rail guns, and the heavy weapons are my uh, missiles, which I have to push X to fire. Like, those are my missiles. And that's some rail guns. Destroyed an enemy target. Ha! Today, he is no match for my firepower. And now I need to slow down and so I can pick up the derelict. Seems that uh, this mission to assassinate things was actually a lot easier than I had expected. In fact, I would like to feel uh, a little bit challenged by this, because in Starpoint Gemini, I kept on dying, like, totally unexpectedly. Okay, and apparently I still have parts of this mission to do. Ferry! Oh! It's a ferry mission. I think I've accepted all these ferry missions by accident. New waypoint confirmed. And we're gonna go up. Affirmative. Engines on overdrive. Engines on overdrive. And here we go. Well, okay, this is gonna be a really long trip across the galaxy, and uh, I guess, I guess this is as good a place as any to end it. So yeah, the game is Starpoint Gemini 2. It is on Steam Early Access. It's in beta. It's uh, pretty nice, I guess. It's nice and polished. There's not much in the way of story right now. If you want the story, you can, you know, get Starpoint Gemini 1, but I would recommend you wait for a sale for that one, to be honest, uh, and have a lot of patience. But yeah, Starpoint Gemini 2 is by Little Green Men uh, out of Croatia, and uh, it's uh, well worth playing. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.